convicted. Well, for the first time tonight, we are hearing from the Vermont family involved in a brawl outside the gates of Canopy Lake Park back in June. The family says video of the incident and the police account of what happened tell only one side of the story. The family involved in the brawl at Canopy Lake Park claim they're the victims of police brutality and not the aggressors they say Salem police are making them out to be. I'm not a threatening guy. Yeah, I may look it. I'm not. I just, it's not my character. Alan Perry says video shot June 16th outside the amusement park misrepresents him and his family. It shows Perry and his two sons, Joshua and Brian, involved in a melee with Salem police. On that day, the Perrys say they spent three hours inside the park, came out to eat lunch, and were told to leave their pocket knives in the car when they tried to get back in. When one son started swearing at the gate, police tried to take him into custody, and that's when police say things got physical. Salem police say the Perrys were the aggressors. Father enters the scene and it attempts to interfere with us taking custody of him, and uh, it turns into what you see on the video, which is a uh, pretty much a full-scale brawl in two officers being attacked. But the Perry say police were verbally abusive at the police station. And then said to Josh, um, I'll take your cuffs off and let you get two swings on me, and then I'm going to kill you kill your family and smear your blood all over the walls. Alan Perry also claims the video of the brawl was sped up and parts cut out to make police look less violent. He says his legal team hopes to obtain the video from the police station. What they're portraying is definitely not up. And Alan Perry faces several years in prison and a significant fine if he's convicted. One of the officers involved in the brawl has not returned to work yet because of an injury he suffered during that incident. A man accused of stealing a donation jar has been arrested by Stratton Police. 